All right, fifth graders, tonight your homework is a little bit different than um, something you may have previously done. Uh, the reason we're doing it differently is so that you can start thinking of, of it mentally, um, and so that's really our goal. Uh, division, the opposite of division is always multiplication. So we're going to take our uh, divisor here, and 3 times what plus what will equal 26? Um, and as we practiced in class, we're thinking something that gets us really close to 26 without going over. 3 times 8 is 24. Add 2, and you've got 26. So your final answer then is 8 with a remainder of 2. It's going to be these underlined one each time. <coughs> this one, our divisor is 6. 6 times what will get you really close to 41 without going over. 6 times 6 is 36. Add another 5, and you get a remainder of 41. So your final answer is 6, remainder 5. Next one, 7 times what plus what will equal or get close to 34. And this one, 7 times 4 is 28, and you add another 6, and you get 34. So your final answer is right here, you underlined it, 4 with a remainder of and pretty soon you'll be able to do this without writing it out. Some of you probably can already. 6 times what gets you close to 52 without going over? 6 times 8 is 48. Add another 4 and you get 52. And I bet you can start doing this in your head. Final answer, 8, remainder 4. This one's crazy, a little crazy because it's got that zero in there. You need to think a little bit. Zero times what plus what will equal 14? Well, zero times any number is going to equal zero, so it really doesn't matter what you put in here for this one. You can put six million if you want to put all those zeros in there. Today I'm just going to put five. Six times five, it's going to equal zero. So zero plus what will equal 14? So um, this one, um, you're Okay, so this goofy one here, obviously your answer can't be 14 or 5 remainder 14. This is just one of these funny ones whenever you're dividing by 0 that you just can't solve. So your answer for this one is can't solve it. And you can cross this out if you'd like. All right, next one, 43 divided by 5. So 5 times something plus something will get us really close, or should get us to 43. Uh, oh, I better write 43 here. 5 times 8 is 40, and then add 3 more, and you should get to 43. So an answer for this one is 8 with a remainder of 3. 39 divided by 6, we're going to write 6 times something plus something equals 39. I bet you're doing this in your head already. 6 times 6 is 36. Add 3 more and you get 39. So the answer here is 6 remainder 3. Number 8, 4 times something plus something equals 35. And 4 times 8 is 32, which gets us really close. Just add 3 more and we get an answer of 8 remainder 3 for that one. And 7 times something plus something equals 45. 7 times 6 is 42. Add another 3 and you get 45. So 6 remainder 3 for that one. And our last one. 6 times something plus something equals 27. Uh, 6 times 4 is 24. Add 3 more and you get an answer of 27. Alright, thanks for working with me today.